Hey, good morning, everyone. May the good Lord bless you. In this video, you all, I'm going to show you how to season your heating stove. Now, I've had this old iron Fisher stove right here, you guys, for over 40 years now, since my son was a baby. And I like to keep the stove seasoned just like you do a skillet. And the way that you do that, I've, I've just started my first fire of the season, you guys. I've got a low burning fire in this stove, okay? Now, by the way, this is going to smoke. There's no question about it. But a skillet smokes when you put it in the oven too, okay? That's what it does. What it, when, when it gets done seasoning, it will have baked the grease onto the skillet so that it will be black and won't rust. And that's what you, you want to do with your stove, okay? Now, I don't know, it, it, it'll work on any type of stove. If you continue to do it through the season, Your stove is gonna look nice for one thing. You can see that right there, how nice and black it looks. But what I'm using this morning, you guys, is just plain old coconut oil, the, the hard kind. Now, Grandma just used bacon fat. She just took bacon fat and she would put it into that cook stove of hers and she would continue to keep the cook stove so nice and clean and shiny that you could actually cook on top of it because back in the old days, some of the stoves you could cook on top of them. I mean, you could literally cook on top of them stoves. Now you see I have a piece of steel on top of here that I keep water sitting on all winter long to put some moisture in the air because now you're not adding moisture, you want to add moisture to the air, but not very much. So we'll, I will evaporate a two gallon over about a week's time or maybe two weeks time. I will evaporate about two gallons of water into the air when I'm heating. That keeps your skin moist and not dried out. It keeps your, it keeps your nasal passages moist because that's one of the things that happen to people when they heat with stoves. In the winter time, everybody's nose is stopped up. Everybody's nose is dry, bleeding that can lead to a very severe sinus infection, okay? So you want to keep some water evaporating on your stove. Now, how do you know how much to put on there and how much not to put on there? When you know you're adding too much to the air when, you're, when the windows on the inside of your house just continue to steam up, that's too much, okay? So you want to just have enough water being evaporated into the house on a daily basis to keep the air a little bit moist. In the summertime, when we're cooling, we're taking the water out of the air. In the wintertime, we want to add some water to the air. That will make your heating system more efficient because of the humidity that's in there will make you feel more comfortable than just old, dry, hot air. And like I said, people get sinus infections every winter that heat with wood or coal because they don't have, they're, they're taking all the humidity out of the air. Pretty simple. But it's very simple, you all. Just take your oil, just like I'm doing right here, and put it on top of that stove with low heat. And just let that cook right onto the stove, like you're doing a skillet. When you do that, your stove will really look nice and it will last a whole lot longer. So there's what she looks like, you all. And I just threw that piece of, of uh, paper towel in there with the oil on it. Make sure you've inspected your chimney. You have properly cleaned it or had it done so that you don't set the chimney on fire. And that's all there is to it.
I'll let you take a look inside. First fire of the season. Boy, that does feel good. And it sure will do a whole lot to stop the electric company from robbing you this winter. And of course you all, when you're doing this, open the window on both sides of the house so that the draft can suck the smoke out, okay? Either that or put you a fan in a window and suck the smoke out. There will be smoke or fumes in here from this that you will smell in the air. Now here's how I do it. I've got an exhaust fan. Sucks the smoke out of the room, okay? Now, you've got a heating stove in your house. Your, the air that's in your house is being burned up by your heating stove, your heating system. You should have a source of fresh air coming into your house all the time, especially even in the summertime, because it will transition your house from positive to negative from positive to negative. That means the air pressure in your house. If I put my hand up here and air is coming back through this fan, I know that there, the pressure on the outside is more that's, than it's in the house. If that's vice versa, which I don't feel any air coming in, that means the pressure in the house is more than the pressure outside. So that varies. When the pressure drops, air will pour through that hole. Okay, but what I'm doing here, instead of burning up the air in the house to keep this fire burning, I'm letting fresh air come through this hole because I keep that door on this thing blocked open so that air can go in and out all the time. That keeps you from burning up all the good oxygen in your house while your stove is burning. Believe it or not, that's some real critical things. Okay, so if you don't have one of these installed in the wall, maybe you should think about doing it. If you have a house built now uh, that has a fireplace in it or a chimney or anything else, they require an outside air source to make that fire burn. So you can just crack a window. If you've got one close, just crack it enough so you can let fresh air come in so that you will be burning fresh air in your house and not the air that you're breathing. So you all, that's all there is to it. Be safe with your stove, clean your chimney, clean out your stove. Make sure when you start your fires in your stove that you don't over fire the stove. That's what a lot of people do. They chuck that thing full of wood and they, they over fire it and everything around it is just smoldering hot. So I know most of you people out there who use stoves already know this stuff, but there's some people out there that's transitioning over or, or trying to transition from their electric heat all the time over to wood or coal. So that's just one way of making sure everything is safe and conditioning your stove for uh, burning the fuel that you're going to burn. With that, you all, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it. To, to others so that they can understand too how to keep their equipment working in the proper manner. God bless you. Have yourself a wonderful day.